today is our uh, press conference to kick off our cuisine and cultural festival uh, to 2017, uh, which will be at Margaret T. Haynes Park. Uh, to start, we will first have um, the Thomas Tang you know, uh, to post the colors. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag and to the republic for its stand, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. With liberty and justice for all. Thank you. It's, uh, that's the American Legion, Thomas Tank, Post 50. Uh, they're always um, very supportive of us, they always help us to do all the posting the colors. And again, I welcome everyone to our um, press conference uh, to kick off our cuisine and uh, uh, <coughs> culture and cuisine festival. Uh, to start off, we will uh, obviously, you know, with the Chinese festival, we always have you know, the uh, line dance. Uh, to, you know, to celebrate our Chinese New Year. Um, and today we have uh, um, Kenny Perez from Dynamic Wushu who are going to do uh, the line dance for us as well as a Wushu demonstration. Thank <laughs> you. 
欢迎欢迎啊！满村，新年快乐啊！Presentation of our Kung Fu, or we call it Wushu. It's glad to be. Uh, we're glad to be part of the uh, Chinese Week again. I think I've been in since been in part since '77, and the guy used to perform for holding at the uh, yeah, well, the townhouse. Right? But, uh, <laughs> way back then, so it's been a long time—30, 40 years. So but it's always a pleasure to be part of the group. And I'm glad to be here again. We'll have more people with the, with us at the show. And I'm sure there's some great events planned, including a Tai Chi tournament, hopefully. So, uh, hey, thank you very, very much for letting us go. Thank you, Kenny uh, from uh, Dynamic Rusu. Uh, please give a great hand to them again for the performance. You know. Here we are celebrating you know, Chinese New Year. You know, it's the, this year is the year, uh, year of the rooster. Uh, actually, the New Year's Day was Saturday. Uh, so I uh, just want to say you know, Happy New Year to everyone. You know, um, Gong Hei Fa Choi and Gong Xi Fa Chai. That means you know, um, just hope, wishing everyone will make a lot of money, be prosperous. And, you know, and I think everyone would like to have that. Uh, we are you know, um, really uh, Glad to have everyone come to attend, and I'd like to introduce you know, some of the guests here that at our, uh, at our uh, press conference. Uh, first, I'd like to welcome uh, uh, Phoenix, uh, Phoenix City uh, Councilwoman uh, Thelda Williams. Uh, we have our Phoenix uh, Sister City President <laughs> CEO Paula West. Uh, also, our Phoenix Sister City Taipei Committee Chair Sadie Wright. Uh, um, and also, uh, we have uh, Yi Feng Toy President Zhou Yi. Um, we also have the Phoenix Community um, Relationship uh, with the Officer Chris Abreu. Okay. And also, of, uh, um, uh, my, our, our Phoenix Chinese Week President Elaine Wong. Okay. Uh, so, uh, as I said, you know, well, this year is our 27th you know, annual uh, festival. Uh, so uh, we will be a three-day event, and we will really you know, uh, do a lot of promotion, and hopefully that, uh, we're going to have uh, another successful event. Uh, so to, <coughs> to start the program, we would like to have uh, uh, Phoenix, uh, Phoenix City Councilwoman Thelda Williams to come you know, to say some words for us. This is always one of my favorite times of the year. Phoenix has been very blessed. We have two sister cities, 
Uh, one is Chengdu, but this year the featured city is Taiwan and Taipei. And that happens to be my sister city. And I'm very proud that uh, all of you are involved this year. I love that city. I've been there several times. I will tell you, I purchased material so I could have my mother-in-law make me a jacket similar to that one. Um, I love shopping there, I have to tell you. Except your shoes are too small. <laughs> Or I have too big a feet, I'm not sure which it is. But anyway, this is the kickoff of the Chinese festival. And it is always a wonderful event. Families, all ages can participate. There's food, there's games, there's entertainment, uh, there's arts, there's crafts. Everything you can think of that will be in Hans Park. And we welcome everyone to come participate enjoy the festivities and it's not just one day it's more than one day and so you can come back every day that it's there and we want to make sure everyone's very aware of it and participates i want to thank all the people who work so hard to make this happen it takes a lot of people a lot of time and you are to be congratulated not only for your dedication but for the hours that you have donated uh, to your community, to this city, and to the residents in this valley. So thank you very much for what you have done, what you're about to do, and I know it will be very successful. So thank you very much, and have a very happy new year. Next, we have the program is Phoenix uh, Sister City Taipei Committee Chair Sadie Wright. Mm -hmm. um, happy New Year, Happy Chinese New Year. I didn't get the translation quite down yet. So <laughs> I'm Sadie Wright. Uh, I'm very proud to be the Taipei Chair this year. Uh, I have been a member going on 21 years of Phoenix Sister City and uh, Taipei Chair, and they're both wonderful uh, to be with and Paula's group. And um, I didn't bring a paper because I thought I'd do better just get talking. Uh, the Taipei Committee um, does a lot of things. I would be here quite a while to try to mention all of them. Um, we have our... Um, Phoenix Sister City Exchange with our students that go to Taiwan and Taiwan comes over here. That's a very um, vital program. And last year we've had a delegation to come uh, with the mayor from Taipei and one to go over to uh, Taipei as well. Um, so that's what we've got going on, had going on. And this year, of course, having a, having a booth, you'll have to look for our Taipei booth at the festival and we'll have a table um, at the Great Wall, and uh, it's just going to be awesome. I'm so excited. I hope you can all get by to see us, and um, I want to thank Elaine for, for uh, welcoming me and helping me with getting started for all the things I had to do. So again, Happy Chinese New Year. Thank you, Sadie. And last but not least, our president uh, from Phoenix Chinese Week, Elaine Wong. Thank you, Eva. Gong hi fa choi, gong si fa sai, to all of our Cantonese and Mandarin speaking community. As she said, I'm president of Phoenix Chinese Week, but not only that, I'm a native Arizonan and we have four generations here in our family. So I have been involved off and on for all the Phoenix Chinese Week festivals from the very start. So it gives me great pleasure and I'm thrilled to invite you to our 27th annual Phoenix Chinese Week Culture and Cuisine Festival on February 10th through the 12th at Margaret T. Hans Park. So come with me now and let's experience the sights sounds and taste during our three-day free admission festival. 
Let me share some highlights with you about the festival. To kick off our grand opening, we will start off with our traditional lion dance to ward off all the demons and to make room for prosperity as we celebrate the year of the rooster 4715. Next, let's stroll over to our Chinese cultural village where you can see 5,000 years of culture on display. Try to, your hand at uh, learning how to solve math problems using the abacus which was around long before the discovery of the calculator. And you can also see Chinese kites, printing blocks, and Chinese puppets. And if you get there on time, you might even be able to watch a Chinese cooking demonstration. In addition to that, we have our well-known children's pavilion. And so if you go over there, you can watch calligraphy demonstrations. You can have your name translated into Chinese and um, participate on hands-on crafts to learn how to uh, do paper folding, paper cutting, and many other traditional arts and crafts of the Chinese. Next, if that's not enough, more fun can be found at our Mahjong Brood. So take a walk over there and try your hand at learning how to play this centuries old uh, game, which is very, very popular with the Chinese as well as other ethnic groups today. And following that, let's not forget the continuous entertainment on our stage um, that's going to be going on throughout the three days. You'll delight in listening to musical performance on Chinese, traditional Chinese instruments. You can watch traditional and folk dances in beautiful Chinese costumes and martial arts demonstrations, as you saw here just a few minutes ago, and of course, more line dances throughout the three-day weekend. Now, I'm just getting started as your guide through the festival. Uh, we also have a koi fish exhibit where you can see hundreds of award-winning koi. And, uh, in the, and then in addition to that, if you really want to travel back to China, transform yourself into an imperial prince or princess by putting on a traditional Chinese costume in our Chinese costume photo exhibit and take selfies with your friends and family. So now that you've experienced the sights and sounds of the festival, your stomach is probably drawing you towards um, the taste of our cuisine. So we have many, many food booths and trucks serving traditional and delicious Chinese cuisine, as well as other varieties of food. Later in the day, take a break from everything and all your activities and visit our beer garden, have an ice cold beer. And as, as you've been busy visiting all our vendor booths, picking up souvenirs as, resem as remembrances of the Phoenix Chinese Week Culture and Cuisine Festival. Now, if you're craving more after our three-day weekend, please attend our Chinese New Year Banquet on Saturday, February 18th at the Great Wall Cuisine Restaurant. You will delight in a 10-course traditional <coughs> Chinese banquet and if you're interested, please visit our Phoenix Chinese Week website, www.phoenixchineseweek.org, to get more information on how to make reservations for our event. Now, as you've heard, there is a lot of planning and countless hours of hard work put on, to put on a successful festival each year. And we could not do it without acknowledging the support of our many sponsors, like Arizona Public Service, Talking Stick Resort, Hensley Beverages, Delta Airlines, Salt River Project, Wells Fargo, ASU Confucius Institute, Valley of the Sun Koi Club, Arizona Commission on the Arts, and Phoenix Sister Cities. Most importantly, I extend my appreciation and gratitude towards all of our Phoenix Chinese Week board members and the many community volunteers. So remember, mark your calendar, February 10th through the 12th, and come out to the Phoenix Chinese Week Culture and Cuisine Festival. Thank you. Thank you, Elaine. After you know, listening to the vivid picture that Elaine painted for us, you know, what you experienced during our festival, I bet everyone will you know, be eager to, have the to attend the festival to actually experience you know, in person what it's like, you know, uh, all the uh, you know, uh, performances, entertainment, and the food over there. So I would encourage everyone to attend and make sure you tell everyone about it as well. You know, um, it is a 
free admissions, so everyone is welcome, you know, and uh, it will be you know, a, a great experience for everyone. And, and thank you, everyone, for attending. And um, I just want uh, uh, to thank you know, uh, the uh, Desert J Women's Cup for h helping you know, to serve the refreshment for us, and also for Asahi Bakery for donating uh, uh, the, uh, the cakes for us as well. And uh, hope to see everyone at the uh, festival, and have an enjoyable day. Thank you. Thank you.